Now that we've worked with slider and I gave you a bonus and taught you how to use impasta, we can move on to just do a few very simple, quick, easy designs using charmicons, which are our most popular design element and super, super quick. Like I said earlier, Charmicons are perfectly and best put on tackless top gel that's been cured. It can be cured anywhere between one minute or two minutes. Uh, on a client, I would highly recommend two minutes. We've already worked with the flatter Charmicons. Now I wanna show you Charmicons that are a little bit more 3D. On a well-cured layer of Tuckless Top Gel, place your Charmicon and like I said earlier, make sure that you're applying just enough pressure so that the edges disappear and you really see that the Charmicon's adhesion is very good to the nail itself. Especially with Charmicons that are so high volume in comparison to the other ones, you might want to hold your finger down with pressure a little bit longer and really allow it to have some time to stick properly to the surface, maybe 15 to 20 seconds. And then we're going to do another layer of the tackless top gel all over the nail and send it in the lamp for minimum two minutes. To add another really nice element to this design, I'm gonna grab the clear Gemti gel, which is a non-sticky layer gel for high volume designs. Once you're done curing the final layer of tackless, you just take a little bit of it and here and there you can place little dots to give more volume to this design. Or what I'm going to do is completely give volume to the entire Charmicon that's placed underneath the tackless top gel. Gemti, like Impasta, is a gel that you can work with on top of tops and it doesn't have a sticky layer after you cure it. Once you're done with a gem tea, cure it for two minutes just like in pasta. Let's do one more design and I'm going to put the Charmicon first before doing any coloring. Just like with a nail dress, you never want a Charmicon to be uh, hugging the free edge. You want to make sure that the free edge is completely clear so you can take your nail file and file that off.
Now we're gonna take our Emilax and fill in the sides of the Charmicon. What's really cool about the Charmicons is that they have those little edges. So if you're filling in around the Charmicon, there's kind of a very small distance from the design itself, kind of like a little border, and it has a small distance of clear film that won't allow any Emilax or gel paints that you're using to fill in get on the Charmicon itself. Every time you fill in with a color, just cure that for 60 seconds. And then once that's finished, apply a final top gel layer. And let's finish off with a couple of rhinestones. 